Hi, my name is uh, Brad Newman. I am the executive chef at J. Silver Morton High School in Cicero. And today I am here to teach you how to make a perfect hamburger. Um, it's nice to take a lot of ground beef, make the homemade, that home feeling, home pressed patties. And once, you, once you're done, you might want to freeze some so you have some in the future. One important detail when freezing any kind of meat, buy meat that has never been frozen. Don't buy 10 pounds of frozen ground beef, thaw it, make delicious burgers, and then freeze it again. Buy fresh meat and then freeze it. Uh, one of the negative points of freezing is that all this cell structure, uh, once it gets frozen in the freezer, it's gonna crystallize, it's gonna freeze. That freezing is going to break the cell structure and it's gonna make uh, the burger, all the moisture kind of come out of the burger. Um, it's not as bad as it sounds if you cook it right and you take your time and make it room temperature and follow all the steps that we showed you before, the burgers will still turn out great. One of the best aspects of freezing is that if you freeze them like this individually, they only take a minute or two to thaw out. Um, so you can keep them in your freezer all year long and if you only need two or three for your children or you have a party, you could grab them, boom, boom, boom and in moments they can be thawed out and ready for cooking. Um, there is some rules that you need to know when you freeze a burger. Um, one is you don't want them touching each other because they will freeze together like a block. Um, another thing is you want to wrap them as tight as possible to keep the air out. There are small amounts of moisture in the air. The moisture during the freezing process is going to crystallize, it's going to form on top of your burger, and it's going to create freezer burn, and we don't want that. My favorite way of freezing a burger is I take parchment paper. This is a regular piece of parchment paper here. You can get it anywhere. This happens to be brown parchment paper. Uh, we like the color. You, you've seen the pink, you've seen the white. It's all the same. It's regular parchment paper. We take a piece of parchment paper. We place one fresh patty on there like this. Give it a half turn on top. Take another fresh patty here like this. Put it on top, on top of each other. So now we've got little individual servings here. We'll take plastic wrap, like we're wrapping a Christmas gift. Put the burgers on here. Like I said, make sure you get all the air out. Anytime you're putting something in the freezer, it's always good to label it. So we'll put a really crude label on it. We'll write burger. We'll write the date. And you're ready for freezing.